Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting ready for the day using some new products, including the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Mine arrived a little bit late, so I know there are already so many reviews. You've probably seen the swatches and multiple looks. And I do have some errands to run later on, so I'm not gonna do two looks today. I'm just going to get ready the way I normally would. But I have not touched it yet. I took a couple pictures this morning before I sat down to film. She is very pretty, and I especially love this exterior pale pink. It's very nice. It's kind of a dusty rose. And then inside, this just looks really nice for fall. If you're not over pinks and purples, this is a really nice fall winter palette. Very different from the Love. So I have this. I also have this Perfect Strokes Rare Beauty Mascara. This was sent to me complimentary, the palette I purchased myself. I tried to throw in as many new products as possible, that way I could test everything at the same time. I am also hosting an incredible makeup giveaway with this video, so make sure you watch until the very end. Of course, all of the details will be listed down below, but you will not want to miss it. It's basically a makeup bag filled with everything you need to get ready for the day. The only thing I have on my face right now is moisturizer and eye cream, but I am going to start with eyes today. So I'm going to apply this Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. This is going to be a shadow shield. It's also going to help prep our under eye. Oh no, <laughs> the other patch got stuck in there. Okay, that's all right. And there's so much serum inside the package. I guess it slipped out. <laughs> he escaped. I really like these because they're huge. So it covers the entire under eye area. They also don't slip. Some of the other eye gels I've tried, they kind of slide down the face as you're getting ready. Oh, they feel so nice and cooling. Anytime I do eyes first, I always grab one of these patches. There we go. It has aloe leaf juice, calendula extract, kamu kamu extract. There's a ton of peptides, antioxidants, just a lot of yummy stuff for your skin. And I like the serum, the way it feels. It's a little bit slimy, but it's thin and it just feels so good. So I'm going to begin with this Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. Never tried this concealer. They sent me a few different shades. I picked Fair 1C. I think this looks like it should work, and I'm going to just dab a little bit on my eyelids to prime. This is going to cover up all of the darkness, all of the little red lines and purple shadows I have on my lids. So let's crack open this retro palette. I never like to watch reviews of products that I plan to review myself, so I haven't watched any videos I've been resisting, but later tonight and tomorrow I'll probably binge watch everybody's videos. From the thumbnails though, I can tell a lot of people are working in this area right here. And I guess based on the photos versus seeing it in person, I was surprised when I opened it up, my eyes immediately went over here to these kind of warm neutrals. I guess because this is what I'm used to wearing on a pretty regular basis. I was pleasantly surprised to see that these looked sort of basic, basic for me, because I think this is going to be an incredibly versatile wearable palette. It's not just pinks, purples, dusty rose colors. You can certainly integrate them, but if you wanted to live over here, I think you would achieve a totally different look than the majority of the tutorials I've seen. I will insert the swatches here, that way you can see what they look like swatched on the arm. In my experience with Natasha Denona, certain shadows may look totally different in the pan than on the skin. I have a Refer 15 brush and I'm starting in Nude Mauve. And I'm going to use this as a transition in the crease. It's kind of the obvious shade to begin with. See, that's one of those shades. It looks pretty light in the pan, but I had a suspicion that it would be deeper on the skin. Like, that looks so light compared to that, which is giving me a lot of color payoff. Next, I've picked up a Sephora Pro number 19 Pro Crease Brush. And I'm going into the shade Amara. This looks so pretty. I really like it. It's kind of a brick. Yeah, kind of a brickish burgundy. Really nice. 
I'm going to start working that into the crease, starting in the outer crease. That looks so much darker than I thought it was going to look. Wow. Going back with my original fluffy brush, I'm just blending that out. So I'm pretty much committed now at this point, but this shade is so much darker than I expected. I was planning on creating maybe like a soft, smoky daytime look, but I already think it's leaning a bit evening. Next, using a flat shader brush, I'm picking up the shade Go Go. Kind of reminds me of pumpkin spice. Again, perfect for fall, and this is going to go on the lid. With a small blank brush, I'm just blending that inner crease area. Next with my finger, I'm picking up Helio and I'm gonna pop that on the center of the lid. With a little precision brush, I'm picking up the shade Vivienne and I'm gonna pop that on the inner, kind of the inner lid, inner tear duct area. Now before I remove the eye patches, I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just blend on top of everything. Moment of truth, let's see. Ew. Perfectly clean under eye and look at that glow. Just very fresh and hydrated and I'm just going to quickly massage that serum. Whatever's left, I'm just going to massage it right into the skin. I put the palette down for now and I'm going to move on to the face. Yesterday I did a self-tanning body butter so I have a little color on my shoulders on my skin. You can't really see because my neck and chest is covered but I do have a little color. My face is naturally very pale. I never sunless tan my face. I don't tan my face in the sun. So I'm going to go in first with this by Terry's Brightening CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash. And this is going to add just a little hint of color to my skin. So I am just going to start in the center points of the face and blend it out all over. I love using this stuff as a primer because it adds a little glow, adds a hint of color. But it doesn't feel greasy or oily, it kind of absorbs into the skin. It truly does have the texture of a serum. and there's skincare in it as well. So it's also a really nice buffer between your face and foundation. Next, I'm going in with foundation and I'm using the same brush. This is the uh, Pro Foundation 56 brush from Sephora. I'm using a new camera lens today and I can hear it going crazy trying to autofocus, so I hope I don't regret it and this video isn't ruined. It was very expensive. It's supposed to be one of the best camera lenses you can get. So we'll see if there's a noticeable difference in a good way or a bad way. Hopefully it's good. I match my skin. The combination between the CC Serum and the Le Beige Foundation is beautiful because it leaves you with a little glow your skin looks really fresh, hydrated, but the CC Serum also helps to even out your skin tone as well, so you don't really need as much foundation. If you like that gluey, hydrated look, this is a really nice duo. Next, I'm picking up this Spare Minerals Concealer again, the original Liquid Mineral Concealer shade Fair 1C, 
and I'm gonna try this underneath the eyes. The concealer brush I always use every single day is the Sigma F79 brush. I will make sure I link this down below. I've received a couple recent questions about this brush. I don't think I've been linking it, but I will this time because it's amazing. And it's the only concealer brush I use. Kind of switch out my foundation brushes, eyeshadow brushes. I'll use whatever is clean, but when it comes to concealer, this is my one and only. I just think the density, the shape, everything about it is perfect. Okay, so that concealer actually looks really nice. I think the color looks really pretty. It looks nice and smooth, but it doesn't look heavy and it doesn't look dry. I like it. I was a little bit nervous because when I applied it to the lid and I think maybe some of the gel from my eye patch I had gotten on my lid and I was blending it together, it looked a little bit, I don't want to say patchy, but you know when you can actually see the concealer on the skin and it just doesn't look right, it doesn't look smooth. Like you can see the texture of your skin with the concealer and it just doesn't look like it's laying properly. That's what I noticed on my eyelid. And I kept going, I didn't even say anything because I knew I was gonna go on top with eyeshadow. But right now, on top of the foundation, it looks so nice. I'm really impressed actually. Now I have another cream product. Before I set that with powder, I am gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. I use the shade Medium, but I love this. One of my favorite cream products. The color is amazing. The payoff is great, just everything about it. It blends so effortlessly. It adds warmth to the skin, but I think it's a very soft color. And then I'm gonna go back quickly with my concealer brush and just blend around the sides. Make sure it looks really soft. The complexion looks so nice so far with all of the creams. So now I am going to set my concealer and I have a rougher 18 brush and I'm using this Bare Minerals Pressed Mineral Veil. This is the shade Sheer Light. They're all meant to be pretty translucent, I believe, but there are a few different shades. So they have the Sheer Light, Translucent, I think there's maybe a Medium Light, something like that. The first time I tried this powder was such a disaster. It was during a Get Ready With Me video. I was trying so many new products all at once. I have this anxiety deep down anytime I film these videos because it truly could go either way. Most of the time it works out, but it's rarely ever my favorite makeup look or my best makeup look because you know, you're just testing products for the first time and there's so much pressure doing it on camera because you know everybody is going to judge and you want to do right by the products. You don't want to present them in a way that they look terrible when it might just be you messed up the application. But since then, since that video, I've been using this powder and I do really like it. The Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder is my go-to. That's what I've been using regularly the most. But if you like something pressed, you like a compact, something you can throw in a travel bag or throw in your purse, I do think this is a really nice option. And of course, Bare Minerals is a clean beauty brand. So if that's something that is important to you. For blush, I pulled out another Bare Minerals product. This is the shade Call My Blush. It's the Gen Nude Powder Blush. Looks really pretty. I thought this shade would look really nice with the eyeshadow palette. It's a really pretty color. little bit on the nose. It has been far too long since I've used this highlighter, so I pulled out my Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. I have the shade Peau de Rose. So beautiful. I love this, so I don't want to save it. I need to start using it. It's a really pretty cream, and it looks gorgeous on the skin. Just kind of melts when you touch it. It's very soft. Reminds me of kind of the exterior. Similar shade. A 
And because it's a cream and not a powder, I just think it looks nicer on the skin. Doesn't seem to really accentuate texture or pores. Gives you that lit from within, very ethereal, kind of fairy goddess look. Just the look you want. <laughs> I also like to add a little highlighter to my chin. The center of the eyebrow right above. I'm picking up the Retro palette again because it's time to finish our eye look. So now I have a rougher 03 brush. It's basically a pencil brush. And I'm going to go into Go Go. The shade right here. And I'm going to use that to buff underneath the lower lash line. I'm very carefully going to connect it up to this little wing right here and just kind of blend and soften that. I love that the under eye patches will help give you a really sharp line there and catch all of the fallout, but I don't want it to look so harsh. That will not be a pretty look, so I always like to soften it a bit. I picked out my Romance eyeliner from Chanel. I think you could do the Rose Gold or Romance. And I am going to run this in the inner tear duct area. Lash line, inner lash line, inner rim. This Romance goes perfectly with the eye look. I love that it complements the eyeshadow, but because it's a very light burgundy, it doesn't close the eye and it doesn't make it look too dark. I'm back. I just quickly filled in my eyebrows off camera. I did a deep brown eyeliner on the top lash line. I did my wing, my little mini inner wing. And now I'm going to do mascara. And I have this new Rare Beauty mascara to try. This is Perfect Strokes. This is the box it came in. It looks very pretty. How do I get it out? <laughs> oh no. Let's see. Ah, it opens again. There we go. So inside it says $20 Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. There's this cute little box. So I did see Michaela on TikTok. If you don't know who I'm talking about, she is a huge makeup creator on TikTok. I did see she posted a video and she had used this mascara and it looked very kind of spidery and a bit clumpy and people were saying no 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 that mascara is not it i don't like the look of this wand i like a wand that's tapered that way i can get the inner lashes and the bottom lash line really easily but i'm willing to give it a fair shot i mean we'll see here we go let's try it out I actually really like it. It goes on really easily and I think I'm done. And that was probably the fastest mascara application ever. It really does cling to all of the lashes. Ooh, I can see it getting a little bit clumpy, but I think I just need to keep brushing. Yeah, I think you have to work fast and really brush through them because it does get a little bit clumpy. It's not bad. It's just so clumpy. But I think if you have a lot of lashes for it to hold on to and you like volume, you'll really like this mascara. Typically, it takes me a long time to really build it up, build it up to achieve the volume I have right now in just a couple seconds, really. Let's try the bottom. Really fast and easy. I tried not going back into the tube. That way I didn't pick up more product on this side and it worked. It's not as clumpy as this side, but it just doesn't do a great job separating. I think if you could separate the lashes after you applied it, it would be perfect. 
It's definitely not as bad as I thought it could possibly be. And I kind of like it. I don't think it's going to be a favorite mascara, but it's not bad. If I wanted to be really picky and dramatic, I could go in with that first, and then before it dried, I could quickly go in with my Gucci mascara brush and separate them and get length and separation. I think that would probably work really nicely. I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm not going anywhere special, so I'm not going to bother with it. But I really like the volume. If you're looking for a good lash serum, the Babe Lash is what I use. I highly recommend it. I do have a 20% off coupon code. I always link it down below on all of my videos, but that has been my lash serum for months now, and it truly does work. Eyes are basically done now, but I am quickly going back. I have a BK Beauty 204 brush. I'm going to pick up the shade Mod right here. It looks white, but I don't think it will look white on the skin. I'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone. Oh no, it does look pretty white. <laughs> I thought maybe it would look light pink, but no, it looks pretty light. In fact, I hate that, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to blend this out furiously, and then I'll probably use something else. Well, it's not terrible. Now I have to even it out. Well, it's not so bad. Definitely add some brightness under there. The last step is lips. I have two products here. I pulled out my Runway Royalty Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is part of the Super Nudes collection, which I did end up reviewing, so I will link the video at the end in case you're interested. And then I'm going to top that off with this Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in the shade Heart. This is from Bare Minerals, and I included two Bare Minerals lip glosses in the makeup kit I'm giving away. I'm too lazy to grab a lip liner. Ooh, the gloss is so perfect. It's kind of a pinky nude. It's a gloss, but it's a liquid balm, so it feels really smooth and hydrating. I love it. I'm just going to balance out my cheeks quickly, add a little bit more blush. I really like this blush. Done. My makeup for the day is now complete. Overall, I am so happy with today's look. It actually came together really nicely, and I have not had a single problem with that Bare Minerals concealer. That makes me so happy. No creasing. You know, a teeny, 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 tiny bit on the inside right below the lower lash line. That happens with absolutely every concealer because, unfortunately, my skin has wrinkles there. So there's really not much I can do to avoid that. But overall, I think it looks really smooth. I think the coverage is really nice. The shade was perfect. And no major creasing. So I'm so happy with the Bare Minerals concealer. Um, the blush, I think, is a beautiful shade. The lipsticks are great. The entire complexion I think is awesome, but this eyeshadow palette is really the star of the show. This retro palette, and I think she's beautiful. I am so happy I picked this up, and I wasn't quite sure. I was kind of teetering on the fence because I am trying to slow it down a bit, especially with larger eyeshadow palettes like this. And I had mentioned that as soon as I purchased this, I kind of regretted picking up the Love palette from last year and the Zendo palette from this year. Not because they're bad palettes, I really like both of them actually, but I just don't grab them very very much. So it's one of those products that even though it's really nice and it's very pretty and when I do use it, I'm happy with it, I really don't touch it enough to have justified the purchase. So hindsight is 2020. whereas this looks like a similar color story to Love, but it looks like a palette that I will actually use a lot more. I don't even really touch the bronze palette that often, the Natasha palette I grab the most is the Glam palette, and I'm always in love with the look. So that's really my go-to palette from her. I don't really feel the need to collect them all because they end up just sitting in a drawer and I don't use them. That is not going to be the case with this palette, though. I really think I'm going to use this retro palette because it's not just pinks and purples like Love, and it's not 
quite so colorful like Zendo. So I think you do have some neutral looks that you can achieve with this. And then of course, the purples and the mauve colors are so pretty. So I'm, I'm excited to keep playing around with this and create more colorful looks. But because I am leaving the house and going about an, a normal day, I wanted to create something that wasn't so sparkly, wasn't so bold, more of a neutral, soft glam type of mood today. And I think it came together really nicely. So I love the overall look of everything. Now let's talk about this next giveaway. One lucky subscriber is going to win this incredible makeup bag. I packed it myself. It is full of incredible things, including a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. There's a Pure Canvas Power Primer from Laura Mercier. Pillow Talk, or no, is it Pillow Talk? Yes. Pillow Talk Lipstick, Pillow Talk Mascara, and that Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette from Charlotte Tilbury is in here. There's also an incredible face palette from Benefit. It looks so beautiful. I was very tempted to keep it myself because it's so pretty, but I have so much stuff, I know I won't be able to use it up. So somebody else is going to take home this great makeup bag. It basically has everything you need to get ready for the day. And I'm also throwing in this little brow set from Sephora. This is the BYOB Build Your Own Brow. So there's a clear brow gel, tweezers, and a brow pencil. And I'm also going to throw in another sunscreen set from solid and striped and this little clear bag works really nicely as a bikini bag. All you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so go ahead and hit the bell. Follow me on Instagram at Erin Nicole TV, like and comment on this video and include your Instagram handle because that's how I will contact the winner. The giveaway will remain open for one week and then I will select a winner randomly the following day. Again all of the information will be down below in the description box. So good luck to everybody who enters and that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.